live from walk-ons, some hockey on a Friday night. What's up, Derek? How you doing? I'm doing well, and yourself, Wes? Long I'm time no well. see. Absolutely. We got Derek Gladner, I'm Wes Barnett, and uh, Matt Horde on the ones and twos. And threes. And threes. Has a mic tonight. So uh, let's get into it. Uh, Binghamton, first place in the Empire Division. That is the opposite division uh, the Sea Wolves are on and they have clinched the playoffs. We're getting towards, we've talked about it a little bit, we've we've mumbled about the playoffs a little bit, but we're getting to that point where teams are starting to clinch. Sea Wolves not clinching yet, but uh, we talked earlier, in control of our own destiny. One game at a time. Right. Uh, you know, we can't can't count our chickens before, they, I mean, can't count our... Can't do that either. <laughs> our chickens before they hatch, right? Um, right? So, yeah, one game at a time. Let's, let's one win at a time. Mm. Big win, uh, what, last week? Mm -hmm. uh, against Columbus, right, and we we haven't been able to get over that Columbus hump, and finally last week was it, right. So I'm excited to see what what tonight holds. First time in New York, first time seeing Binghamton, mm -hmm. and uh, let's see. I don't know what to expect. Yeah, so let's uh, let's dive into what we'll see tonight. Some numbers. Uh, Binghamton, like I said, first place in the Empire Division, 92 points on the season, penalty kill at 83 percent, power play at 28%. So some good numbers there. On the other side, for the good guys, the Sea Wolves, 22% uh, on the power play and 77% on the penalty kill. Penalty kill we've kind of seen fluctuate for the right. for the Sea Wolves. Right. Um, and then, you know, with Coach Skinner coming in, making right. some changes and all that good stuff, uh, you know, it's going to be an exciting night. We'll see how it goes. Absolutely. We are uh, live at walk-ons. Crowd starting to file in. The usual suspects supporting the Sea Wolves on the road are, uh, are here. So uh, we'll get after, we'll take a short break and uh, get back to it when puck drops. So again, live from Walk-Ons, Derek Ladner, I'm Wes Barnett, Matt Hordes right over there. We'll be right back. Hey, what's going on, Mississippi Seawolves fans? It's number 23, Jackson Bond. I'm here with number 10, Philip Wong, and number 17, Kyle Russell. And we're here today at Gulf Coast Golf Carts in Biloxi, Mississippi. Uh, it's just off of Exit 50. Come on out. They have new and used golf carts. They do services and repairs for any golf cart brand, so you can bring your own if you need any anything fixed up. They're the people for you. Best prices on the coast, that's a guarantee. So come and see our friends. We appreciate all their support. We want to support them back. So come out and see them. Thanks, guys.
back at Walk-Ons. Again, a Friday night. I'm Wes Barnett, Derek Latner to my left, Matt Horde to my right. Sea Wolves, Black Bears, Binghamton. Is it Binghamton? Binghampton? Binghamton. Binghamton. There we go. Field Wong, unable to get the opening face off, but nonetheless, Dakota Bond will take it. Pass it around, and here we go. Quick deflection makes the first series a little difficult. They'll get down. That's Gavin Yates taking it around the back of the net. Yeah, we start back over to Bond. We're starting off four on four. Really? Yeah. I see that now. Why? I'm not sure. Maybe something happened. We'll check the live stats. Maybe maybe that that is interesting. I wonder if that was some uh, maybe pregame fireworks. Is, uh, Binghamton doing a good job of possessing the puck. Good centering pass for intended for Kirkby, Tyson Kirkby, the leading goal scorer and point getter for the Black Bears. Cleared out. Let Blake Wyrick in goal for the Seawells breathe a little bit. And they'll take it. He's met by a brick wall. Okay, so Joaquin Nielsen and Donald Oliveri both with pregame warm-up violations. Interesting. Very interesting, being that we didn't get to see the warm-up feed to know what happened. Right. I uh, I wonder if uh, Jackson Bond takes a shot, aim for the top right upper 90. Still battling for it. That's Dalton Anderson. No, but I, I wonder after these two minutes are up if you'll see uh, maybe some fireworks. Passing it around, but able to make a move. Danny Lissio, good defense. Stoya will clear it and go for an icing. So, two minutes already. Well, no, it won't go for an icing. My apologies. And a and goal. score. Shot. And uh, it kind of caught me off guard there. And, our, and, our, and it looks like our captain, Justin <laughs> yeah, Barr, strikes again. There it again. is. Justin Barr, absolutely. Wow, he has definitely been hot. Looked like a deflection shot maybe or off a deflection. I don't know, but a rebound, something. But great job. And Seawolves finding the back of the net early. Man. We apologize to the Table of Seawolves fans. We got a little too excited. Again, we're on a little yeah. delay, so <laughs> they're celebrating. They're about to see the goal. Danny Lissio, good job. You see the replay. Oh, yeah, so the pressure from Danny Lissio behind the net. Puck finds its way to uh, Justin Barr, like you said, the captain. And there's the Seawolves faithful seeing yeah. it on the screen. Yeah, nice. Just, Justin Barr's definitely been hot. Nice. So two minutes are up. And out of the penalty box, was it Nielsen? He gets it. Weirich with an unconventional save coming out of the net. And Lucas Helland is smiling. That usually means trash or talk has been trashed. I don't know how you'd say that. <laughs> trash talk has been talked. He, uh, he doesn't smile unless somebody's angry at him or he's angry at somebody else. Is that fair? Yeah. Good yeah, save. He just fell. Oh, he out. just fell. Okay. All right. He was laughing at himself. All right. So, so there's, the, there's the exception. <laughs> Fletcher for the Black Bears, Justin Barr for the Seawolves. As Tyson Lambert gets in, he's able to clear it out. Black Bears try to center it. Helen, good defensive stick as that one works its way to Kuznetsov. He takes a shot, blocker save, stick side. Now Fletcher with some speed down the near side. Looking around for that centering pass. Great job by Blake Wyrick of stepping in front of that one. Tape to tape pass. Quick shot on goal. Good job. 17 minutes, 23 seconds remaining in the first period. Sewell is fine in the back of the net early to kind of spark this one off. Keep in mind they played Carolina earlier. It was last week, number one team in their own division, in the Seawolves division, but uh, now playing the number one team in the Empire. other division, the Empire division, Continental division, our division. Seawolves sit at that four spot where they've been uh, really for the past couple months, it seems like. Yeah, chasing Port Huron right now for the number three spot, mm. seven points behind. So that, that gap's gotten a little smaller. I, I think... Last time we were at walk-ons, actually, I think it was a 12-point gap. Good shot from Stoya. Lissio with it. Seems 
Binghamton has possessed the puck more, but the Seawolves have been more aggressive and doing a little bit more with less. Lissio, good pressure. Here comes Dalton Anderson. Throws the body. Puck gets dumped in. Weirich will play it. That'll leave Stoy behind the net. Binghamton acts like they're going to pressure him. Acts like they're not, and then acts, or does, pressure in the backside. Forces it around. Nielsen out of the box. That one's going to go around and didn't, couldn't find it. Connor Lynn plays it. Good play to get over. Good speed. As Nielsen takes a shot and gets pinned against the boards. Wong in defense goes right under his stick. That would have been advantageous for the Seawolves. As and offsides will be the call. Offsides. There you go. Scary right there. <laughs> he played that one with his stick and uh, a little interesting. Still 1-0. We have a birthday in walk-ons. It's not my birthday. And to the best of my knowledge, it's not either of y'all's birthday either. Nope. Oh. I could tell him it's your birthday. Okay, no, I mean, I I wouldn't be upset about that. Free dessert. Face off one by Binghamton. <laughs> Back into it. Shot goes a little wide. And already back on it. Here comes Philip Wong. Sends it cross ice just out of reach. Pressure and pressure him, but Binghamton able to get it out. Samaro plays it in. It gets deflected and gets back to him. He loses it. Helen over there now. Jackson Bond. Puck goes up, stays in play. Oh, and he whiffed on it. Whiffed. Tyson Lambert there. Played alongside the boards. Kyle Russell tries to beat the icing, but not going to get it. 15 minutes, seven seconds remaining. And that is our first Omnitech icing of the game. There you go. Shout out Omnitech. We were in the Omnitech studios. If I asked you where we'd be tomorrow night. Sully's. Sully's. Ah, oh, it was worth a shot. It's worth a shot. Justin Barr wins the face off. Goes back over to Tyson Lambert. Is that Kuznetsov who can't get to it? No. It was Jackson Bond. Now Barr plays it behind his own net. Bond with a battle. Now Lambert. Now back over to Barr. Now Helen. One on one with some traffic behind him. They'll catch up. Centering pass over to Kyle Russell. Wasn't able to get there. Helen with a big hit. Separates the opponent from the puck. Sent on. And yeah, score. rebound, deflection, whatever you want to call it. Wyrick. Did the best he could at the right side of the net, but to do that, he had to leave the left side open. And Binghamton finds it tied up 1-1 shortly after 15 minutes. All right. Well, it's the number one team in the Empire Division. To go in there and expect a shutout, it's tough. But everybody gets one. You know what I mean? Everybody's entitled to one. We just got to get a couple more. Yeah, there you say it. Tough play. Uh, ooh, ooh, that's goalie interference if I've ever seen it. Yes. That is goalie interference if I've ever seen it. And that's tough. That's really, tough. no call. That's tough. Interesting. Binghamton, shout out to their. Uh, I, I'm not 100% <laughs> that would be because he was pushed into the goaltender. So that may, uh, that may that, have been that the That probably reason. negated it. There you go. Stats or uh, rules. <laughs> shout out. Another uh, another chance right there. That's tough. Stoya, bigger than everyone again. Stick lift, now a press. Now Luck will uh, favor Stoya as he'll battle for it and end up getting it. Not much doing there for Lissio, so he just sends one. It looks like we've got a, a line change coming. A couple of fresh legs on the ice. Nielsen takes a pass. Doesn't get there. Some quick skating from Gavin Yates for the Black Bears, but he'll lose it, and Connor Lind ends up with it. He'll settle it behind the net, set everybody up, and here we go. Goes to Bond. Bond 
Takes it, Lynn dumps it back. Long, now moving on the left side. Thought it was going to him, but goes to the other side of the ice. Seawolf swarming. And Nielsen, if he can get through the traffic, he's unable to, but sticks with it, makes an effort play, and Wong pokes it through. Binghamton doing a great job so far of controlling the puck um, until about three minutes ago. Seawolves have done a great job of limiting their chances. Kuznetsov under pressure. Follows him around the net. That'll go into neutral zone. And a uh, mishandle, but nothing going for the Seawolves. Believe that puck will go out of play. 12 minutes, 36 seconds. That'll take us to our first media timeout. So, live from Walk-Ons, this is the Seawolves Broadcast Network. Back at walk-ons. I am uh, pretty excited what's coming up. We got, uh, I'm, I'm going to be honest, I got some Boom Boom Shrimp Tacos in front of me. I'm pretty excited. You got to plug walk-ons, man. They always got great food here. Yeah, I had the alligator tonight. Yeah, that's incredible. You're in, uh, we'll get a, I guess a stoppage, redo the face-off. Walk-ons is one of the only restaurants that says Cajun that actually is Cajun, you know what I mean? Most times they'll just make it spicy food and say it's a Cajun restaurant. Ah, don't like, don't worry like that. Shout out walk-ons. Face-off win for Binghamton. 12 minutes, 28 seconds left in the first period as he'll dump it in and a uh, pop fly fielded by Blake Wyrick. Center fielder. Center fielder. That might have been like to the pitcher right there. That, was, that, was, that one went straight up. He'll have a discussion. Probably, if I had to guess, it's about that goal earlier in the contact. He seemed a little frustrated, but maybe he's one of those guys that I mean, he's a little angry, plays a little better. Yeah, just clear his mind mentally and, and let it go, you know. Lambert will send it over to Kuznetsov. His shot goes wide, and he takes a, a slow shot, more of a, a push. Tyson Lambert plays it over. Kyle Russell, now back to Tyson Lambert. Or sorry, back to Kyle Russell. He'll dump it in. Now Binghamton tries to go to, uh, to a teammate getting off the ice, but thankfully they have another one there. It was Austin Thompson. Dakota Bond for Binghamton. He'll send it all the way down. Nothing doing. Now Stoya takes it around the net. Advances it. And here we go. Trying to get around. Unable to get there. Now Connor Lind tries to get it. That'll be Connor Lind. Or sorry, Danny Lissio. Dumping it in, seeing if Something can work. Lynn waiting for it. In good position. That's Nielsen and, and Lissio getting down there trying to uh, 
overturned the puck, but unable to grab it. Play behind the net. Seawolves making a move. Pass intended for Bond. Goes uh, wide, but good effort. He follows up, gets spun around. Now Philip Wong with an interception in their own side. Nielsen follows. Binghamton trying to trying to get out of their own zone. Seawolves maintaining the puck, and here it goes. Yates's shot bounced out, and now Seawolves right back at it. Wong, his pass gets through. It was deflected, and now, oh, a whistle. I saw oh, Jackson Bond. That was it. <laughs> I yeah. saw Jackson Bond with an open net, about to put it in, and a whistle is called. Ten minutes left in the period. And, yep, that'll take us to our second media timeout. Seawolves Broadcast Network. Seawolves fans, it's Blake Wyrick, Phil Wong, and Matt Stoya here at Gulf Coast Firestone. This is Matt Stoya with your Mississippi Seawolves at uh, Gulf Coast Firestone, and uh, just letting you guys know, we uh, service all types of oil changes, AC, scheduled maintenance, uh, brakes, front end repair, uh, all types of tires for cars, trucks, ATVs, and trailer tires. Hey Seawolves fans, all season ticket holders and sponsors, you get 15% off all services. Back in walk-ons, 10 minutes left in the second period in uh, what was a tease of a possible Jackson Bond goal, but the whistle coming right before it. Some, uh, I guess, last-minute conversations between the referees. Yeah. Trying to best find the best grub in town. You know, it's our only trip up there this year. That's so true. we couldn't get in, into any kind of routine when I, we go. I have no idea. No, me neither. <laughs> about anything in Binghamton. <laughs> face off. Face off has been pretty even. Uh, both teams winning it that time. It was Tyson Kirkby and Justin Barr. Pass back around, he'll take a shot. Now Stoya is in a foot race. Stolen away. Seawolves had the numbers for a moment there. Shot deflected, good save by Wyrick. Now Barr playing it behind the net in a battle with Kirkby. Kuznetsov takes it. Kuznetsov oh. skates around, he'll get a shot. And gets past the goaltender, but also gets past the goal. Here comes Jesse Anderson. Nice defense there by Connor Land. There's David Aslin. He'll take it across, pass it over. And I believe that was Lissio. His shot is saved, caught. Egbert. Uh, let, me, let me scroll down here. It's almost like a name I'd remember on the yeah, Rascals. That's what I'm saying. Nolan Egbert. Couldn't remember his first name. <laughs> Egbert. That's a heck of a last name. <laughs> Dalton Anderson. Face off goes the other way. But the sea was nope. Thought they were going to get it. Good passing from <laughs> the Black Bears. Scary passing. Shot goes a little wide. And here we go. You know, I kind of like change. that strategy we just seen. You're going three wide right. and pass it all the way across, mm -hmm. you know? Binghamton has uh, – they're pretty consistent, you know, about their kind of their levels of, of – or their timing of where each guy is on the ice. So like, these passes aren't necessarily looked. They're just kind of expected. And good stick handling from Binghamton. 
better save from Weirich. Unable to freeze it. He'll make another save. Goes out. Kyle Russell over to Lambert. Now Bond takes a shot. Now go back over to Lambert. Back into the... Another big save by Weirich there. I mean, I'm trying to follow this and say all the names, but the passing from Binghamton is very, it's very quick. But Weirich has been solid, and the Seawolves have made everything Binghamton's tried to do very difficult. 7.36 in the first period. All tied up 1-1. Do you see the Binghamton crowd? Was that a white bear? I don't know. I thought they were the black bears. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about the mascot? Yeah, did you see it? It was <laughs> yeah. white. He was wearing St. Patrick's Day stuff. I don't know if that was. Yeah, no, yeah, it had to be. It's a polar bear, I think. Yeah, it was weird. I don't know. Awkward. Yeah, it was weird. <laughs> but I do, you know, I've got to, I've got to admire their camera feed in Binghamton. Yeah, it's crystal shout clear. Out, credit where credit's due. Crystal clear. I think this is the best feed we've seen all year. Mm -hmm. Shot taken by uh, Stoya as he hits the ground. Now Binghamton looking for something. They're going to do a backhand shot to Blake Weirich's right foot, a right skate. He's going to be there. Yeah, I knew that hit was coming. Oh, a little push and shove. Is that Helen? Yeah. Mm, no surprise mm. there. Yeah, Lucas Helen. Well. You want to see it, though. This is a tight game. You need, a, you need some aggression. You need some energy. Sometimes you got to bring your own juice. Dominic Montanac. Did I say that right? Sure. <laughs> We're going to get it. We're going to get it one day. <laughs> I haven't gotten that one yet. That's Barr with it. He makes it over to Hell. No, Lissio. A little dribble there. Now it goes in the back of Justin Portillo. Played out, but kept in and taken away. Now the Black Bears headed down the ice. Thought we had a stoppage, but no. Good stick handling by Gavin Yates. Oh, uh, looks like we got a penalty yep. coming. And I believe it's Portillo who gets, uh, was it a, maybe a tripping call? Gets a stick caught up between the skates. And that will be uh, the second penalty of the game. It's the first penalty of the game, but also the second penalty of the game because we had a, a pre-game penalty, a, a warm-up violation from both teams. So first penalty, first uh, man advantage or man disadvantage for the Seawolves. Yep, you see it there on the replay. Portillo stick. As uh, yeah, you hear the, the groans from the Seawolves faithful here at Walk Ons. But two minutes down a man. Penalty kill at 77% for the Seawolves. Power play at 28% for the Black Bears. Jackson Bond, Philip Wong, Tyson Lambert, and Kyle Russell on the ice for the penalty killing unit. Philip Wong trying to get in the way. Good save by Wyrick. Actually hits the post and goes behind him off the deflection from, of his glove. Now Oliveri has it. He, settle it. he settles it. Over to Kirkby. Patience from Binghamton kind of kind of fire or backfires on him as Seawolves grab it, but Seawolves get caught in a line change. Stoya gets back out there. Now Connor Lind, Dalton Anderson. And nice. I believe, nice. Yeah, good job. Nice Stoya. work there by Wyrick, too. Getting his chest Wyrick over. Wyrick flashing oh, the glove. Man. Great save. Back to back saves. Blake Wyrick doing a great job tonight in net. One minute left, so half of the penalty has been killed. There he is. Yep, the man. Throw the throw the hair back. Last time we were at walk-ons, Blake Wyrick was on the injured reserve, couldn't make the trip, so he actually uh, came, had some food, hung out a little bit. So I don't know if, uh, I don't know if that gives him any points, but you know, he's doing good tonight. I don't know if he took one to the face, but something is up with his. Uh, yeah. No, he's just making a, a minor adjustment. Making sure the yeah. hair, making sure the fresh lettuce is uh, <laughs> is good. 
Y'all ever heard of that one? Fresh lettuce? Hear that? All the hair flowing in the back? Yeah, I've never had lettuce. I haven't had lettuce yeah. for a long time. I've only man. ever heard it be called flow. Oh, well, I am bald. The, the so. flow. <laughs> yeah, you have no flow. <laughs> I have no flow. I have negative flow. All right, back over <laughs> face off one. And off of what looks like Wyrick's right shoulder, he gets turned around. Does a good job getting back up. Another shot incoming. That one deflect or blocked. All right, we're under 40 seconds now on the penalty kill. Here we go. 35 seconds to be exact. Four minutes, 55 seconds in the period. This has been a high pressure uh, or power play for Binghamton. But uh, Sewell's penalty kill holding strong, led by the uh, fella in net, Blake Wyrick. Stoya and Lind unable to get it. Now back over. That's going to be Cameron Clark. He settles it. He goes back over. Austin Thompson oh, oh. and a sticky situation. And that one's going to nice find score. the back of the net. I mean, oh. it, it, is, it is what it is. There were countless scoring opportunities, and, and Blake Weirich did a phenomenal job of stopping those. But you keep up the pressure, you keep up the pressure, and, and eventually – Something like that's going to happen. That one, I believe, found the uh, side of the post and ricocheted it, if I'm not mistaken. I'm sure we'll see a yeah, replay here in a little bit. One of those look-what-I-found goals. Yeah, one of those. One of those. Uh, he's blocking everything, so just keep sending things. Yeah, doing it. I mean, look at it. He, he stops him, and, yeah. It was to a knee. That's going to be Cameron Clark for Binghamton breaking the tie. So... Binghamton, or Seawolves score first, and Binghamton scores two back-to-back to, -back to uh, break the tie, 2-1 in favor of the Black Bears. Already back at it. Keep it. Uh, Saved. From, that was so close. You know, went over the blue line. Ooh. Oh. And that's going to be a tripping. And... Uh, not going to go well. Referee comes in to kind of stop any frustration. As uh, Nielsen going to go into the penalty box. Tough. I'll say this. I don't know if they wanted any of that. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Media timeout. We'll be right back. <laughs> Hey Seawolves fans, it's Blake Weirich, Phil Wong, and Matt Stoya here at Gulf Coast Firestone. This is Matt Stoya with your Mississippi Seawolves at uh, Gulf Coast Firestone and uh, just letting you guys know we uh, service all types of oil changes, AC, scheduled maintenance, uh, brakes, front end repair, uh, all types of tires for cars, trucks, ATVs, and trailer tires. Hey Seawolves fans, all season ticket holders and sponsors, you get 15% off all services. Open 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., Monday through Friday, located at 4283 Pops Ferry Road in Diverville, Mississippi. And don't forget to ask about our six month tire financing program. Only $149 down, minimum purchase, and you're good to go. Live in walk-ons. That was our final media timeout of the period. Again, my name is Wes Barnett, alongside Derek Ladner and Matt Horde on the ones, twos, and threes. Does that count? The ones and twos is being the DJ. The threes, you get the mic, so it's right. I don't play music. Me neither. <laughs> All right. Sorry, I'm back. All good. I was signing autographs and eating yeah. more gator. Yep. Uh, you were at your wife's table. Nice try. <laughs> Mind your business. <laughs> the, uh, after the Joaquin Nielsen penalty, uh, we'll get another penalty kill for the Seawolves. 3.38 remaining first period. 1.45 on the power play. That first original penalty kill line back out there. Jackson Bond, Matt Stoya, Connor Lind, and I believe Justin Barr. And we get a 
nothing. Yeah, flop. It was nothing. That was a, uh, a flop. <laughs> Shot deflected. Good job from Blake Wyrick. Connor Lynn tries to pressure it. Now Bond is playing perimeter defense at this point. Binghamton a couple of cycles. Oh, oh, that one. Oh, man. You've seen the puck sitting there just <laughs> right at right, the line. Right on the line, yeah. Oh, wow. A couple of quick cycles from Binghamton, and they get a shot on, and uh, I mean, I don't know. Thick ice is what saved that one. It didn't go in. That's all that matters. Right. Binghamton with a threatening shot, and finally, Seawolves able to clear it out first time on this power play or penalty kill that they're able to dump it all the way to the other team's side. Look at that. Oh, Ooh. great Thank job, God Kyle for that Russell. Goal post. Great job, Kyle <laughs> Russell. Shout out to the goalpost and every el everybody else. Shout out to the air conditioning vent being blown away from the goalpost and not towards it. The yeah. ice being sloped yeah. just the, yeah, so much you can be thankful <laughs> for there. Uh. David Asselin now trying to, uh, again, play that perimeter defense that Jackson Bond did. That one, again, getting behind Wyrick but not going in the goal. Same spot. And, and that one, score. A, uh, what looks like a stick on the ground. Pop that one up. Wyrick not able to get a glove on it. And with, I believe it was eight seconds left on the penalty. That will count as a power play goal for Binghamton. And that's two power play goals. Mm -hmm. both, both of them on tripping? Yep, I believe so. Yeah. So two power play goals, like you said, and three goals unanswered. Seawolves. Cracking the scoreboard first, but three goals unanswered. 3-1 in favor of Binghamton. Once again, you hear the groans from the Seawolves faithful. And already back at it. Minute 40 left and goes behind the back. Good idea from Binghamton, but Josh Fletcher, or Josh Fletcher, was uh, the intended receiver unable to get a stick on it. Helen tries to throw the body. Now it's going to go to Stoya. Now Kuznetsov with it. He plays it off of Wong and now plays it over to Helen looking for another pass. And Wong has to backskate a little bit, but not really much going. Seawolves haven't been able to uh, get the puck in their offensive zone and, and quite some time, sorry, possessed the puck in their offensive zone quite some time, but uh, here we go. Dalton Anderson with a wrist shot real quick, but into the glove of Egbert. Where you see it, not much like Wyrick can do on that one. Binghamton registered with 21 shots on the night. Keep in mind, we're in the first period. Binghamton content to uh, run the clock out. Danny Lissio doesn't want him to. And just out of reach off the boards, that would have been a one-on-one -on -one goaltender. Stolen away. Now tries to get over to Dalton Anderson. Dalton Anderson has the opportunity. Lissio tries to get it in front of the net and laid on, frozen. 23 seconds, 23.2 seconds left in the first. Binghamton up 3-1. Seawolves were threatening. Looked close. Check out the replay here. Good job, Dalton Anderson, able to uh, settle that puck on a tough pass over a Defender goes, you see it, it goes yeah. just off his right right skate. And goes straight up. Yeah. Straight up. Well, there you go. Clock is running, 15 seconds remaining in the first. And Seawolves now on their own end. <laughs> Stoya just kicks it, says, get out of here, go on. Now played over to Bond. And now Wong, sorry, yeah, Wong will just dump it out, and that will do it for the first period. So what started out pretty, uh, pretty eventful first period,
but uh, started out positive for the Seawolves. Did not go the way as it went on. So we're going to take a short break, probably eat the rest of this shrimp taco, and then uh, come talk to you about first period. When we get back, recap. Live from Walk-Ons, this is the Seawolves Broadcast Network. you out. Bienvo Orthopedic Specialists will be there for you every step of the way. We are here to get you back. Back in the game. Back in motion. Back to your life. Our elite team of orthopedic specialists will work side by side with you, educating you about your treatment plan, utilizing advanced technology, and providing you with a successful path to recovery. Bienvo Orthopedic Specialists. We will get you back. Hey, what's going on, Mississippi Seawolves fans? It's number 23, Jackson Bond. I'm here with number 10, Philip Wong, and number 17, Kyle Russell. And we're here today at Gulf Coast Golf Carts in Biloxi, Mississippi. Uh, it's just off of exit 50. Come on out. They have new and used golf carts. They do services and repairs for any golf cart brand, so you can bring your own if you need any, anything fixed up. They're the people for you. Best prices on the coast, that's a guarantee. So come and see our friends. We appreciate all their support. We want to support them back. So come out and see them. Thanks, guys.
Hey Seawolves fans, it's Blake Wyrick, Phil Wong, and Matt Stoya here at Gulf Coast Firestone. This is Matt Stoya with your Mississippi Seawolves at uh, Gulf Coast Firestone, and uh, just letting you guys know we uh, service all types of oil changes, AC, scheduled maintenance, uh, brakes, front end repair, uh, all types of tires for cars, trucks, ATVs, and trailer tires. Hey Seawolves fans, all season ticket holders and sponsors get 15% off all services. Open 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday, located at 4283 Pops Ferry Road in Diverville, Mississippi. And don't forget to ask about our six month tire financing program. Only $149 down, minimal purchase, and you're good to go.
Hey, welcome back, Seawolves fans. I am now joined here with the uh, mayor of Biloxi, Mr. Fofo Gillich. How are you today, I'm sir? I'm terrific. I'm terrific. I'm so proud to be here with y'all. And it's an honor to have you here on the broadcast <laughs> with us for our Mississippi Seawolves right here from Biloxi. Oh, uh, man. I'd like to say, I remember well. One of my employees, Craig Ross, was an umpire back when we won the, the Kelly the Cup. The Kelly Cup back and in I'm the telling you, that was the most exciting game I've ever been to of any kind. And, and uh, you know, they were hollering at the umpire on some some cases, but I, it was uh, it was terrific. So I mean, it, it, you know, what you can imagine the Coliseum with, with you know nine ten thousand people. Right. Yeah. And, uh, absolutely. And it it was wild. I'm sorry, that's it the was best, best game of any kind I've been to. And, and it's so good to have hockey here back on the coast. It is. It's it, exciting. It's, it's always a family fun environment, and, and, and I'm sure some of your memories from back in the ECHL days are very fond it, and, and it, fun. It was. I mean, my kids and my, you know, my, not my grandkids, so we, we're going to be, uh, you know, actually, you know, uh, taking advantage of it. So it's, yeah. a, it, it's exciting. It's exciting to see. Absolutely. And, and you're enjoying this full fun atmosphere here at Walk-Ons in Iberville, right? We do. We do. We have hope. all our cousins and, and, and uh, friends who gather every Friday night. But this is a lot of time. Yeah, right yeah. Here. It looks like you've got a we whole got about entourage with you tonight. Ten of us. Yeah, we're tra <laughs> we traveling gangs like like uh, hockey teams, right? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So uh, what's your favorite meal here at Walk-Ons? Well, tonight, I've got to do some catfish tonight. But you got to do the, the catfish? Rib, yeah, because, you know, I'm a Catholic, and we, we try to not to eat. We, it's a fish fish time on Friday nights during Lent, so it won't be too much fun. Well, but, uh, we, we, you know, everything's good here. The yeah. ribs and, you know, uh, catfish is good, too. So that's what I'm. I had to, I had to go for the uh, red beans tonight. Oh, absolutely. You know, like I said, it wouldn't be Friday, I'd be eating that, too. Yep. All righty, Mr. Fofo, Mayor Fofo, we're, so, we're, we're so glad to have you here on our broadcast this evening. And, well, uh Congratulations. Anything we can do, you need, you know, all you got to do is ask. So uh, well, well, hang on. Before we go on, one eight hundred fo any, any, <laughs> anything that you can do for us, all we have to do is ask. All That's right. It. So, That's it. So for all the Seawolves fans out there right now, I'm going to ask you to help us win this game. Absolutely. We're down three to one going into the second period, but that's okay. That's okay, right? Second period. Yeah, exactly. It's so. a, we still got 40 minutes of hockey left. <laughs> A lot of a lot of a lot of game left. All right, uh, I'm, I'm enjoying watching this. All right, and we'll be right back after this uh, commercial break again. Thanks to uh, Mayor Fofo here well, go for, get them, for joining us. Go get them, see Wolves. Absolutely, we'll be right, right back. back. Welcome back, Seawolves fans. Matt Horde here, um, bringing you the start of the second period. The Binghamton Black Bears now just intercepted by the Seawolves, moving along up the up the near boards. Stoya with a shot, and it's knocked away. The Binghamton will get the puck back. And now moving up the near boards. Seawolves will settle it down around the back of the net. And the Seawolves break out. Intercepted by the Black Bears, but not much there. Lots of back and forth to start this second period. Seawolves come out. Shout out, Matt Horde. Picking up some slack. We had a special guest, had to move some things around, but we are back. Eight minutes and 28 seconds left. That's 1825. 1825, sorry. I got. I got you, Wes. I got you. You got Derek over here inhaling this red beans and rice, and, and I, I've tried, you know, it's, just been, it's been big. We had a politician on. Good save. Blake Wyrick grabs it. Good save. Here we go. Now we're back. Officially well, official. I mean, uh, you had, it's, you it's know, good. the I, mayor there eyeballing. It was like itching. Yeah. yeah. So, come on. Come on. 
Come on. Such a great guy. Fofo, the man. Face off. Goes in favor of the Seawolves. It's David Aslan. Goes after it. Battle for it. That's Dalton Anderson. As a black bear goes to the ground and still battling for it. And Aslan will poke it over to Lissio. And here we go. Another battle for it. This one not as tumultuous. How about that word? As Stoya's shot goes a little wide. I'll, I'll explain it to you later, Derek. Don't worry. <laughs> Roasted. All right. Now back over to neutralize. Stoya trying to get it. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for the response. I'm waiting for the response. Now back over. Played along the boards. Neither team really uh, possessing it enough to have an offensive formation, I guess you will. Nielsen passes it over. Jackson Bond waiting for his opportunity, and there it goes. If Jackson Bond is standing still, shot saved by Egbert, if Jackson Bond is standing still, he usually ends up with the puck shortly after. Because if he's not, if he's not yeah. a million miles an hour, he's zero miles an hour about to get it. And it's crazy because he, he could actually be barely moving, right. but his legs are going 90 yeah. to nothing. <laughs> He's one of the, like when you look at these Olympic sprinters and their head doesn't move, but they're going, you know, 20 miles an hour. Yeah. Gliding. Jackson Bond, the speed of Jackson Bond is a thing of legend in the FPHL. I see. And you see them go immediately. When they, when they hit that breakout, they're going three wide. Right. You know? Right. Like going through the turn in Talladega. Mm. Three wide. Boogity, boogity, boogity. Boogity, 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 right? That's kind of what they're doing. And it looks like they're going to pass over to the center, bypass him, and go to the opposite side. And that's just something that we got to adapt to and stop that. Face off to Wyrick's right. Phil Wong, Kirkby. Kirkby winning the face off. And shot looked, mm -hmm. uh, shout out to the weird camera angle. Looked like it went in the net, but we're good. Yeah. It went wide. Now the speed of Jackson Bond in pursuit of Liam Anderson. Puck settled behind the net. We see Columbus live behind the net, uh, setting up all their offensive opportunities behind the net. Binghamton, I think that's the third time they've settled it behind their own net. They talked about it. They, they're doing that three wide, more uh, yeah. a fly-in approach instead of setting something up. Russell with it. He'll dump it in. Egbert comes out of the goal. Freezes it, wants to play it, but... Kyle Egbert. Russell follows it. Egbert. <laughs> There's uh, Matt Horde brushing the beard. Whew. It's going to be it's, – it's, it's a rough one so far. I mean, Seawolves cracking the scoreboard first and then three unanswered goals by the Black Bears. But still, Seawolves almost getting one at the end of the period. Egbert able to freeze that one a little bit. Freeze it a lot, I guess. <laughs> but uh, Seawolf since then have uh, kept the scoring chances for Binghamton at bay. But on the other side of that, haven't had much for themselves. Kuznetsov skates it in and quickly stolen away by the Black Bears. It's going to be settled a little bit, not fully behind their net, but along the boards. David Aslan. Kicks it, kicks it again. Battle for it. Connor Lynn comes in there. And now Kuznetsov skating across to get in front, but shot gets through and into the logo on Blake Wyrick's chest. And the answer to Luke Bates is no. The no. red beans are gone. The red beans are gone. They're gone. Hey, shout out Luke Bates. Met him the, uh, the other day. You met Luke? I did. I'm sorry. <laughs> He's a good guy. <laughs> yeah, I know. Good guy. He is. I he was wearing like, his. I like giving him a hard time. He was either wearing. It was. I think he was in a Biloxi Bone Crushers jersey. It was either that or a Seawolves. I saw a couple of Biloxi Bone Crushers jerseys over the weekend. At the wrestling event. At the wrestling event. At, uh, that makes sense. Yeah, bone Crushers. I'm wrestling. telling you, man. I mean, yeah. Hey. Seawolves community involved in the wrestling. Saw Joe Pace Jr. in the Mississippi Rumble. You might have saw it on ESPN. 
<laughs> was there? <laughs> uh, we've got a breakaway. We've got a breakaway and a oh, good an eighth pass. Score. Fletcher gets the uh, gets the goal, but the work was done by the assist man. And that one, not much Blake Wyrick can do. About 15 minutes left in the second period, and Binghamton up 4-1. Just a pass gone awry, and there you go. There's nothing you can do with I mean, no. you know, it, which, whichever way you play on that one, it's just tough. It's tough. I mean, you see him, and, and you still see – you still see Blake get big and try to right. try to swarm the puck, and but hey, it's unfortunate. Yep. Shout out Luke Bates and give up a goal. Not saying they're correlated, but there you go. <laughs> Face off win. Seawolves will have it, and uh, that one will go into the bench. We'll get a stoppage. 14 minutes 50 seconds. That will take us to our first media timeout of the second period. Live from Walk-Ons. This is the Seawolves Broadcast Network. When injury knocks you out, Bienvo Orthopedic Specialists will be there for you every step of the way. We are here to get you back, back in the game, back in motion, back to your life. Our elite team of orthopedic specialists will work side by side with you, educating you about your treatment plan, utilizing advanced technology, and providing you with a successful path to recovery. Bienvo Orthopedic Specialists, we will get you back. Seawolves back on the ice. The Seawolves stream team back in walk-ons. Is that cool, the stream team? Closely related to the dream team. We are the dream team stream team. The dream stream team. The dream. The <laughs> it's been a long week, boys. <laughs> 7.05 p.m. here. I believe that's 8.05 p.m. over there in New York. They're in New York, aren't they? Not too great with geography. No, what were you saying? Just talking about I'm really concerned because you are a teacher. I am. I'm a health teacher, man. I'm a health teacher. <laughs> hey, at least I got geography. At least I didn't say I'm not good with geology. Face-off win for Binghamton. Seawolves dump it out and dancing along the blue line. Binghamton keeps it in. Jackson Bond giving uh, Anderson for Black Bears all of the business. Now Bond, one-on-one, -on -one, takes a shot, Ooh, deflected like high. Off of Egbert. Egbert. Now Nielsen in a battle. Kyle Russell coming in there. And Jackson Bond skating around, waiting for it, waiting for it. And I think we're just having a conversation. I think just a couple guys being dudes hanging around, around the puck. Now it comes out. And Tyson Lambert dumping around, but waiting. It's a black bear. He sends it on. Not too hard of a save, but a save nonetheless. Blake Wyrick. Some extracurricular from the lead scorer for the Black Bears. And that's Kirkby. Tyson Kirkby. As you see the uh, shift change, the regime change for both teams. A lot of fresh legs on the ice as 13 minutes and 59 seconds remain on the clock in the second period. Face-off win, Justin Barr. Played back around. Seawolf's trying to set something up. Barr gets it back. And stolen away. Back door. Now Binghamton, what would have been offsides if he made contact with the puck, but he doesn't. And played along. That's David Aslan in pursuit. And he had an opportunity to throw the body. Decided to Better judgment not to, and ends up with the puck. Now stolen away. Poke check, poke check, poke check. Nobody has the puck. Binghamton has it now. They'll send a shot. Screen from the goalie is Russell trying to fight off that screen. I think he took that one off the elbow. And a slow rolling shot. Wyrick couldn't grab it to stop the play, and that one 
finally goes out across neutral ice and all the way for Egbert to play it in the corner of the boards. Now Binghamton right back at it. Drop pass. It's JT Walters, or Jacob Walters. Now Justin Portillo getting in on the physical end of the game. I like JT Walters better. <laughs> it's in Princeton, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, Dalton Anderson tries to make an open field tackle, but unable to get there, and Wyrick corrals it. Freezing the puck. 12.25. Uh, you okay? Yeah, dude, I'm telling you, it's been long. Long week. Had a couple of, uh, or three games last week for the Seawolves. Columbus um, twice, Baton Rouge yeah. once. We have another one tonight. Heard us talk about it earlier. We'll be, we'll be, the watch party will be at Sully's, as that game is in New York. And uh, I don't have a plane ticket yet, so probably not going to make that one in person. But we'll be at Sully's. That'll be fun. Always is. Puck goes all the way back to Wyrick. He decides, I'm going to go ahead and freeze this. Let's get a face off. Quit all this tomfoolery. Quick passes, quick shots. You got Portillo on the ice. Matanak, Matanak. I believe that's Dalton Anderson taking the face off. I think he wins it. And Stoya back there. Stoya logging a lot of ice time tonight. I've seen a lot of... Uh, a lot of shifts, a lot of uh, specialty. Well, we've seen the penalty kill and Stoya, usually the uh, main defensive force just about every line for the Seawolves. Also seen the defensive pairing of Kyle Russell and Tyson Lambert. Good bit tonight. As, uh, we've added some new faces. Now back and forth. If you uh, take out the contact and the speed, similar to a tennis match. Oliveri trying to make a move. He meets Tyson Lambert and uh, Philip Wong. Now back in neutral zone, tries to dump it in. It's like, it's like Binghamton it is sitting there waiting right. in our passing zone, knowing exactly where we're going. And their passing is so precise. Yeah, I mean, they're doing a good job. And like you said, they come out in that three wide, and it doesn't seem I to mean, be. For it, instance, right there, you just no. thought that was just a little flip, and there he right, was. Right. Big hit. Seawolves putting the body on, didn't see the number. That was a nice little dump and go. Ah. Uh, Philip Wong's drop pass, tended for Jackson Bond, gets intercepted or deflected. And now, here we go. It's David Aslan able to break that one up, and now Connor Lind will have it. And Connor Lind, some open ice. He takes a shot. Tough angle shot. Kuznetsov gets the deflection on the clearing out, or the clearing out. Now Lind, he gets it over. Nope, shot blocked. Have a black bear. It's a little, skating a little gingerly. A little shaken up on the play, but... Play will resume. Nice pass. Great pass. Oh. Good defense from the Black Bears. And, uh, already down the ice. And, and they score. Fakes left, fakes right. And that is going to be number 12, Gavin, Gavin Yates. Yates. Started out hot for the Seawolf, scoring in, uh, I believe, the first three minutes of the game. And now, there you see it, five unanswered goals for the Black Bears. Derek, I'll say it, they're the uh, number one team in the league for a reason. Number, number one, one team, in, team their in their division. I mean, they're tough. Yeah. That's the second. I don't know if that would technically be classified as a breakaway, but one-on-one -on -one with the goaltender, would that be? Stack, stack guy, Matt? I don't believe that that was a, Yeah. Because they were parallel right, and right. he was able to cut them off. Right. But nonetheless, the second uh, second goal where it's really the goaltender and the uh, puck carrier. Regardless, breakaway or not, it was a goal. It was. <laughs> 940. That will take us to our second media timeout of the second period. 
Binghamton up 5-1, live from Walk-On, Seawolves Broadcast Network. Hey, what's going on, Mississippi Seawolves fans? It's number 23, Jackson Bond. I'm here with number 10, Philip Wong, and number 17, Kyle Russell. And we're here today at Gulf Coast Golf Carts in Biloxi, Mississippi. Uh, it's just off of Exit 50. Come on out. They have new and used golf carts. They do services and repairs for any golf cart brand, so you can bring your own if you need any anything fixed up. They're the people for you. Best prices on the coast, that's a guarantee. So come and see our friends. We appreciate all their support. We want to support them back. So come out and see them. Thanks, guys. Back in walk-ons. 9.40 in the second left. Binghamton up 5-1. Dalton Anderson unable to win the faceoff. Danny Lissio will pursue. That one will go all the way back to Lind. And played back. Nope, sorry, not Lind. That's Dominic Matanak. Dominic. 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 I'm going I'm to I'm figure out his name. <laughs> Justin Portillo. Another fresh face. To you. To you. No, to, to me. You. Yeah. <laughs> Kyle Russell will send it all the way back over. I believe that'll go for a Omnitech icing. And if I'm not mistaken, our second Omnitech icing of the game. Is it second? Second. Second? Yeah, second or third. <laughs> oh, man. We'll see how it goes. Looks like, is that Jackson Bond or Connor Lind? Taking Jackson the face Bond. It's Bond. Yep. Bond with the win. Lambert will send it on and a tumble. There for a second, it's not like you said, gone with the win. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well be. <laughs> and some stick handling from Kyle Stefan. Stepan? Stepan? Not sure. Shot goes wide. Binghamton keeps it. Nielsen with a good stick, and we will get a whistle. Referees acting like a madman trying to separate them. And I don't like the point at Kyle Russell, but it looks like the uh, tension is starting to rise. Looks like he'll be going to the box. Looks like Stepan. Is it Stepan? Yep. Ste Steph? Stefan? Stefan will uh, also be heading to the box. I don't know if that's going to be a, a roughing. Uh, uh. I don't know. Waiting on the live stats to uh, let us know. But nonetheless, our second four-on-four four opportunity. If you, uh, if you remember the beginning of the game, first two minutes of the game due to a warm-up violation from both teams, we started in a four-on-four. Four. We'll get a face-off as the uh, referee's trying to clear some things up. Seawolves fans reacting to seeing the other team in the penalty box as well. I think. <laughs> okay. I, I mean, I was looking at the screen myself. Yeah, I was like, what, what we do? <laughs> oh, now we got two. What's this? Oh. Well, they probably won't cheer for that. No. One minute, 58, 57, 56 seconds on the power play. Here's a replay of it. And uh, weak penalty. Weak penalty. To me, that was a uh, overreaction. Okay, so and it appears almost a goal from Pinghamton. As, uh, it appears that Kuznetsov is serving the two-minute unsportsmanlike conduct for Kyle Russell, and Kyle Russell is serving the hooking. Interesting. So there's only a 
one man advantage though. We have, see, we have two people in the box, four people on the ice. Yeah. Uh, and Kyle Stefan for unsportsmanlike. So gotcha. we got two unsportsmanlike okay. and Russell with the hooking. Interesting. Very. Already a minute gone on the power play. Again, starting this game, Seawolves were at 77% on the penalty kill, but nice two, poke check there. Two power play goals. Change that a little bit. Patience from Binghamton. They have 47 seconds left. They'll send a slow roller. It goes to Wyrick's right. Stoya clears it out. There we go. That's something the penalty kill hasn't seen a lot tonight is uh, clearing the puck out. <laughs> I had to hold my breath. But <laughs> yeah. as, uh, Wyrick lays out for that one. And, uh, and goes to reach in. <laughs> Now Daniel Stone up top, he kind of sends it on. He'll pursue it, unable to get it past the blue line or stop it before it goes past the blue line. And we'll go into neutralize. Yeah. Good poke, and here comes Lissio. Gets a stick lift and unable to grab it. He was formed by yeah, Black Bears. Yeah, he was. A <laughs> uh, situation you do not want to find yourself in, whether it's hockey or in the woods. <laughs> I imagine the woods would be worse. Danny Lissio, he'll play it back. That's Aslan. He'll play it over, and... I believe that was Dalton Anderson. He'll play it forward. Frozen. And penalty kill is over. S five to one. Six minutes, 35 seconds left in the second period. What you thinking? We need four goals. We need four goals. I said, you know, five. Five as well. Uh oh. We got something going on in walk ons. I'm not sure what. Uh, Everybody just started counting down. And, and then said, go. I don't know. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. I don't know. We heard happy birthday earlier. We heard a Go. countdown. I don't know. G great energy here. Great energy it, here. It appears there's <laughs> even energy at the yeah, game yeah, from I what mean, we just went. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, of course. Believe, is that going to be Justin Barr taking the face off? I had to get, if I had to guess. See Tyson Lambert, David Aslan, Lucas Helland. There's Blake Wyrick, and we have yet to see the other Seawolf. We saw him, but I didn't see his number. Once again, shout out to the uh, the, the, the feed. They got some cool camera angles up in Binghamton. Helen fit taking the face off. Not something we haven't seen before, but something we don't see often. Uh, Helen's going to end up with a oh, good nice pass. Idea. Nice idea. Getting it to bar after three passes, but the Bar had a had a mark on him and couldn't quite get possession. There you go. There's that three wide. They were four wide right four there. Four wide, yeah. And then you see the one break off yeah, and stay three. Battle forward in the boards. It's Aslan doing a good job. Now Tyson Lambert comes in. Now Bar circling around, waiting for it. And Lambert just keeping him in the corner. He gets out and then Aslan. Keeps him in the other corner. Now crossed over in front and a good opportunity. Ooh. Another good save. But uh, Binghamton kind of turning up the scoring chances here. That's Barr in defense. Kyle Stefan. Stefan. Now played out. Binghamton still in control. Back pass, tried to do a, a backdoor spin shot, I guess, whatever you call that, but uh, just goes a little wide. Aslan, you see that elbow there all in the face of the Black Bears. Wong directing traffic, he's going to check out. Sorry, Justin Barr checks out for Philip Wong. Now Jackson Bond, great job, great defense. Playing the body. Now Wong with it, some good stick lifting. Kirkby is going to get called and uh, possibly maybe a trip. Hand goes up, and I guess everybody thought the play was dead, but nope. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wyrick gets in the way. Tyson Lambert has it. We'll get the whistle. 
Four minutes, 36 seconds left in the period. That'll take us to our final media timeout. As you see Kirkby skate over, this is uh, the Seawolves Broadcast Network live from walk-ons. Back in walk-ons. And this guy here kissing himself yeah, on the kiss see, cam. <laughs> you see the kiss cam up in Binghamton. Uh, I don't know if he was. Uh, yeah, that was I mean, that was just. Yeah, he, that missed, was, he missed the opportunity right there. That's it actually, tough. <laughs> it looked like a black bear trying to get the honey. <laughs> There's the penalty from Kirkby. And uh, Seawolves getting their first power play opportunity of the night. Gulf Coast Firestone power there play. There you go. Minute 50 left. Weirich played that one, but got the whistle. Speaking of Gulf Coast Firestone, I had to go by there today. Nice. How'd that go? Great, as always. As always. Was it a – Miss Anjanette and, and, and uh, David Gray, they're, they're was it always a, Was it a car great. call or a, hey, yeah, how you doing call? Yeah, no, well, it was a little bit of both. Okay. A little bit of both. They're always great. One by Philip Wong. And now <laughs> – Black Bears right back at it. Shot, save, Blake Wyrick. You know, I, I don't want to be that guy. Don't be that guy. If well, you don't want to be that guy, don't be that guy. All right, I won't. Okay, thanks. We're but not playing bad tonight. The score don't reflect how bad the game is. I'll, I'll say it. I'll no, say no. it. I mean, yeah, it's 5-1. Um, I think possession, they've, they've – crushed us on possession but I mean and shots on goal and shots on goal but you know what in heart we got heart I'm trying to find the positives here played on taken away from the Seawolves now Justin Barr loses it Stoya coming up from his defensive position great job keeps it and, and it's going to be an offside offside Nielsen not able to get there in or sorry Stoya not able to get back in time Minute 16 left on the power play. Big shout out to our broadcast sponsor, Glass Doctor, right shout there out. in Lone Beach. We uh, we got to get some shots on goal here. Dalton Anderson takes a shot, kind of rolls off of it, doesn't take the brunt of it, but forces the puck all the way back behind Blake Wyrick. Stoya with a good pass between the legs. Kuznetsov, Dalton Anderson, Stoya, Justin Barr, draw back to Stoya. Now played on and just kind of dumped in a through ball, if you will. Now Blake Wyrick, now in the corner. Stoya gets it again, and Seawolf's having trouble getting out of their own end. 25 seconds left on the power play. 
not much doing. Yeah, we can't force passes. Take it down the left side. They'll send a shot. Binghamton not looking like they're trying to score shorthanded, but given the opportunity, I'm sure they'll try and capitalize. Played back all the way and saucered the entire length of the ice. And that will do it for the power play back at even strength. Long's pass just outside of Helen. Helen fakes a, uh, a punch. Not like a physical punch, like a punch with a stick. Now Binghamton back across center ice. Two minutes, 15 seconds left, and we will get a whistle. Not sure what the whistle is. Looks like offsides. So back in neutral ice, we will have a face-off. That's Kirkby and Dalton Anderson. Kirkby's going to win this one. He's had some success in the face-off circle tonight. And now losing his footing on the shot and almost into a difficult position. Would, if uh, Black Bears could have gotten that one on net, been tough to save. Dalton Anderson with a rocket shot, unexpected. Egbert able to get on at minute 51 left. Face off in the offensive zone for the Seawolves. As much as I hate to say it, I haven't seen many offensive zone uh, face offs or from the Seawolves, from this game. Justin Barr, take the face off. He wins it, easy win. They'll pass it around, pass it to Kuznetsov, but Barr will go get it and he'll give it to Kuznetsov. Quick pass back to Barr and well, it looked like a hold, if I've ever seen one, yeah. does not get called. Dumped in. Aslan in pursuit. He's going to throw the body a little bit on, I believe that was Oliveri. Now, into the offensive zone. Back across, one around the net. Bar with it, tries oh. to get it around. If Kuznetsov could get that one, might have had another opportunity at it. Now back over, Connor Lind. Lind goes over to Nielsen. Nielsen goes into the corner and played around. Jackson Bond goes over to Wong. Bond tries to catch it, goes right over his hand. But good defense, we'll get back. Seen an uptake in offensive presence from the Seawolves in the past minute. And tries to do another wraparound. That's Jackson Bond's back-to-back -back wraparound shots. Both of them a little more threat or threatening. Matanek in pressure. Shot goes wide. Stoya kicks it with his heel. Like he was playing that little hacky sack there for a minute. <laughs> and now Seawolves trying to make something shake in the last 15 seconds. Binghamton now with it. Neutral ice, pass across the ice, and there we go. Over, stopped, wide. Now another shot. That one's going to go all the way, and that'll end the second period. So, Binghamton up 5-1. to one. We will take a short break. Who knows? Maybe we'll have another politician on. You never know. Special guest. Live from Walk-Ons, this is the Seawolves Broadcast Network. Thank you. When injury knocks you out. Some hollering, some yelling. That's Kevin Yates, or Gavin Yates, and Justin, Justin Portillo. Portillo. So we'll see what comes up before we take off. They're skating off. All right, I think we're safe now. Yeah, well, I think they're safe now. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so, all right, let's try it again. Live from Walk-Ons, this is the Seawolves Broadcast Network. When injury knocks you out, Bienvo Orthopedic Specialists will be there for you every step of the way. We are here to get you back, back in the game, back in motion, back to your life. Our elite team of orthopedic specialists will work side by side with you 
educating you about your treatment plan, utilizing advanced technology, and providing you with a successful path to recovery. Bienville Orthopedic Specialists. We will get you back. Hey, what's going on, Mississippi Seawolves fans? It's number 23, Jackson Bond. I'm here with number 10, Philip Wong, and number 17, Kyle Russell. And we're here today at Gulf Coast Golf Carts in Biloxi, Mississippi. Uh, it's just off of exit 50. Come on out. They have new and used golf carts. They do services and repairs for any golf cart brand, so you can bring your own if you need any anything fixed up. They're the people for you. Best prices on the coast, that's a guarantee. So come and see our friends. We appreciate all their support. We want to support them back. So come out and see them. Thanks, guys. Hey Seawolves fans, it's Blake Wyrick, Phil Wong, and Matt Stoya here at Gulf Coast Firestone. This is Matt Stoya with your Mississippi Seawolves at uh, Gulf Coast Firestone and uh, just letting you guys know we uh, service all types of oil changes, AC, scheduled maintenance, uh, brakes, front end repair, uh, all types of tires for cars, trucks, ATVs, and trailer tires. Hey Seawolves fans, all season ticket holders and sponsors get 15% off all services. Open 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday, located at 4283 Pops Ferry Road in Diverville, Mississippi. And don't forget to ask about our six month tire financing program. Only $149 down, minimal purchase, and you're good to go.
There we go. Pinball Republic Seawolves down here. Woo! Having a blast. This is so intense. So much fun. So I can't wait to get back out there. Let's go. This is just kill. Live at walk-ons, a little uh, view into uh, the, what is it, the Visions Veterans Memorial, Memorial Arena. Try to say that quick. Uh, yeah, here we are. Not necessarily the best, uh, best position to be in if you are a Seawolf or a Seawolf fan, or a Seawolf broadcaster for that, that matter. Down five to one, Matt Horde, Derek Gladner. And I'm Wes Barnett. What do we uh, What do we got, guys? What's What's the Well, first off, we've got to spend way more time in the offensive zone. Yes. Yes. Um, I mean, we're getting outnumbered on shots on goal, uh, like tremendously, 37 to 11. <sighs> and And I don't think that's very inaccurate. I think it's pretty close. The biggest thing that I'm noticing is that you know lately we've been with with the new coach in, we've been playing a much quicker style of play. You know, they are, they're all back on defense. They're all rushing the offense. We're not seeing that tonight. Right. You know, they're not playing their game. I think they're playing reactionary mm. hockey, and they're not playing their own game. Right. And, and some of that does, you know, credit where credit too, some of that does have to go with, you know, Binghamton. You know, Binghamton, like you had talked about earlier, it seems everywhere we're passing, they are, if not in front of it, they're right next to it, you know. So we catch a pass, or we get a pass. We we try to make another quick pass or make a move, and they're already a body on us. So yeah, we want to see we want to see an uptick. But like you said, we want to see us play our game in the third period. And look, I mean, five to one isn't a far fetch. No, 
leave. You know what I'm saying? Uh, not, not, not in the not, FPHL. And, and not, with our, not with the threat that we bring to the table, um, you know, as far as how many, how many goals a period we can score, right? Um, so I think if we come out, play stellar, more precise passing. Um, Blake's had some great saves. He's great just saves. been he, he's been put in some unfortunate situations, you know, with a uh, you know two man advantage coming down for right. for Binghamton and, and netting that one. And then we had two goals that were, I believe, two goals that were scored on power plays. So now we're looking at three. Right. Technically, you know, you take all that away, and he you, still has a thirty two save night. <laughs> right. And, and and you've got a two one game. Right. Right. And it, even if you take the two power play goals that were scored on both tripping calls. Mm-hmm. You're at a you know three one game, so you know it's just unfortunate incidents that's transpired. And once once that first event happens, it kind of trickles. Well, y'all good? You got anything else? Anything else you want to talk about as we uh, we come back in from uh, from the barn over there in uh, New York? Good. We got uh, we have one goal, Justin Barr, and that was in about first two, three minutes of the game. It's like the first minute and a half. I mean, I mean it, was, it was It caught quick. us off guard. It, it caught us off it guard. Uh, but nonetheless, hopefully we can get a little bit more of that magic come the third period. So, I have a walk on. Uh, maybe you can see the reflection behind us, but good crowd. A lot of Seawolves fans. As usual, the usual suspects who show up on the road when we go to these restaurants. Uh, we'll come back when Puck drops, and uh, we'll get after it. You good? Yeah, good. Derek Gladner, Wes Barnett. Off camera, but still here, Matt Horde. Sea Wolves Broadcast Network.
Back in walk-ons, Wes Barnett, shout out Matt Hoard on the ones and twos, and Derek Ladner to my left, hoping for a little third period magic. Seawolves down four goals, and uh, it can be done. Yeah, it can be done. Face off, Kirkby and Wong. Nielsen already an uptick in pressure and oh, missed opportunity. almost missed opportunity there. A steal in front of the Binghamton goal. Binghamton goes down and, and they score. Buries it, glove side. Just uh, looked under the glove of Blake Wyrick. And boy, not the start the Seawolves needed. 18 seconds in and a, a goal for Binghamton. Wait for the crowd. They'll hear it soon or see it soon. And there's the crowd. It's like clockwork. Shout out to walk-ons. The first time we were here, they put us on every TV. Now we're on every other TV. That's cool. Seeing my bald head on every TV is tough. 20, or sorry, 40 seconds into the period. Seawolves already conceding a goal down six to one. We'll see what can happen, how the tables turn. That went from an uh, opportunity for the Seawolves right in front of the Binghamton net and then a couple seconds later in the net behind Blake Wyrick. Seawolves with it in the offensive zone. One of the Derek Ladner keys to the third period. And now Binghamton skating down. Three wide, cycles to two wide. Stoya takes the puck, closes off the gap, and here we go. Montanac, his shot goes wide, or his shot's deflected. A little stress on Egbert. Dalton Anderson, his shot is off of a skate and uh, no pursuit from Binghamton and Montanac. And swarm, Montanac loses it, but it goes to David Aslan. Now, Stolen away, here comes Nielsen. Bond able to get back on sides. A shot high and wide. Seawolves with two uh, shots, three opportunities so far this period. And uh, as a Black Bear goes to the ice, they wanted a, a penalty, but they're not gonna get it. That's Col Colin Fitzgerald. Colin or Colin? Looks like Colin. It does. <laughs> now back with it on the near side. Seawolves take it. They skate with it in their own end. D to D pass. Now goes out to Philip Wong. Had some trouble with it. And stolen away. Binghamton. Ruthless. Unrelenting on defense. A couple of quick passes around Connor Lind. And good poke from Jackson Bond. But... He's not able to get it, drive down to the offense with it, but still, Seawolves have it. That's Aslan. He'll go over to Lind. Aslan, or Lind back over to Aslan. Now back over and into the offensive zone is the captain, Justin Barr. He has Kuznetsov, but Puck gets held up behind the net. A little saucer pass, short saucer pass over the stick, completed pass. Now Seawolves with it again. Helen looking to screen the goalie, gets a stick on it. Goes high and left. Seawolves still have it. That's Russell. Now he'll skate it down. It's stolen in the corner of the boards. Now here come the Black Bears. Black Bears get a shot, deflected off the right shoulder of Blake Wyrick. Now Justin Barr has it. He'll skate across. Helen not able to get there, but Kyle Russell is, and he'll just punch it through. He's not much doing. Played by Egbert behind the net. Quick skating by the Black Bears. Here we go. Deflection stolen. Black Bears pressured by Lissio. Now Stoya has it. 
Stoya crossing center ice. Not much pressure. And, and it's going to be an offside. Offsides. 15 minutes, 49 seconds. And uh, uptick in defensive pressure from the Seawolves. Created a little more offensive uh, presence, if you will. 15-49. Face-off win. Lazy face-off from Binghamton. Jackson Bond takes a hit and then delivers one. Wong gets turned around. Now Stoya, he may not be the fastest guy, but he is always the biggest. That's Montanac. Now Wong with it. Has some trouble. He goes back to Nielsen. Nielsen and Wong, they'll lose it. Now Binghamton on the attack. Passed across over center ice. Now Bond pokes it out, but Black Bears there. Centering pass. Bingham takes it back out. Slow roller to Wyrick's right. Now played behind the net. Good job of Wong getting in the passing lane. Give them a taste of their own medicine. That looked close to offsides. They don't get the call, but Binghamton, no matter if they get the call or not, they take a shot. And Wyrick flashing the glove. I believe that'll take us to a Immediate timeout, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it will. Live from Walk On, Sea Wolves Broadcast Network. When injury knocks you out, Bienvo Orthopedic Specialists will be there for you every step of the way. We are here to get you back, back in the game, back in motion, back to your life. Our elite team of orthopedic specialists will work side by side with you, educating you about your treatment plan, utilizing advanced technology and providing you with a successful path to recovery. Bienville Orthopedic Specialists, we will get you back. Faceoff goes in the way of the Seawolves, but in possession of Binghamton and quickly into the glove of Blake Wyrick. We'll get another faceoff, 14 minutes, 41 seconds left in the third period. Your Seawolves are down 6-1. to one. You know, I was thinking leading up to that faceoff, Justin Barr has won just about every faceoff tonight. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's... Percentage-wise, I think the only, only Binghamton player that has probably won would be Kirkby. And if you look at the score sheet, Kirkby is their, statistically, their best player. Got another birthday in walk-ons. But well, we got hockey to attend to, so I'm not going to sing. Derek might. <laughs> I'm going to save it for tomorrow night. <laughs> All right, there you go. Shot goes wide. Wyrick throws a glove at it, but like I said, it was wide. Helen over there. Barr tries to pressure it. Helen's going to get a block. Nope, not Helen. Who's that? Dalton Anderson, maybe? Tyson Lambert, my bad. And another offside. Another offsides. Uptick in offsides, didn't see a lot early, but recently this period, Seawolf has been caught a couple times. Some frustration building for the Seawolves. Neutral zone faceoff. There's Kirkby and Dalton Anderson. Let's see if. Anderson can get the better of this one. And we didn't see it, but I'm going to take a wild guess and say Dalton Anderson won that. Take that, Kirkby. Played back around the net. Anderson now pressured. 
That one played along the boards, goes straight up. Nobody really knew where it was, and then it landed all the way in the defensive zone. Anderson with it. He has Lissio. He tries to find him, doesn't get there. Dominic Matanak in pursuit. Now Lissio sends it around. Wong, sorry, Barr tried to stop that deflection. Went right over his head. Now Binghamton. Some open ice. Shot goes high and left. Now Binghamton with another shot. Kind of came out of nowhere. Didn't know where the puck was. And then it ends up in Weirich's blocker. Portillo throwing the stick around. Now Wong in pursuit. Connor Lind minding the screen that Kirkby's trying to set up. And stolen away, stolen wow. away, stolen <laughs> away again. And then deflected shot. As Dominic Mononok got spun around and got the puck three times. Binghamton wants a penalty, they're not gonna get one. A couple guys got tied up, it happens. Stone goes to a knee, it happens. No penalty. And, oh boy. Must be some tough ice out there. We got people falling everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Puck played out. It's going to go back into the zone, and here comes Philip Wong letting them know they don't want any of it. They don't want any of it. 12 minutes left in the third period. Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Game's still going as he gets pulled up onto the bench. Might be a, a good thing from his teammate. Puck in the air. A couple of guys swatting at it. Now flipped all the way over. And Binghamton. Four on two, they'll dump it in. Connor Lynn's gonna get there. Lynn's gonna play it around and then, there we go. Back over, that was Kuznetsov, but he's unable to grab it and make anything happen. Over to David Aslin. Aslin in pursuit, gets cut off and throws the body. Good hit. Another good hit, Connor Lind. Weirich having trouble locating the puck as it's right behind him. That one goes up, good stick from Barr. He'll save it, take a shot, and complete a pass during the process. Back over to Barr. Barr flips it, now Helen's coming. Helen's gonna throw the body. Everybody in America knew that was coming. Mm. And shot, save, deflected all the way back out. Some, some juice on that shot. David Aslin in pursuit. It'll be a drop pass. Nobody knows where it is. Helen able to separate his opponent from the puck and allow El Capitan, Justin Barr, to come and get it. A couple of guys get off the ice. Philip Wong checks on, checks in, as well as Joaquin Nielsen. And Shot they score. and a goal. Quick change of possession. Gets into the slot and another goal. Uh, and tough. it appears it's a hat trick. Hat trick. So if I had to guess, that's going to be Austin Thompson with that goal. He got the first goal for Binghamton, the third goal from Binghamton, and now the seventh goal from Binghamton. Ain't got much to say on this one, Derek. I'm no. not going to lie to you. Oh. Uh, there's the reaction. Gripes and groans. Oh, boy. Like we said earlier, number one team in the Empire Division for a reason. Can I be a homer? Can I be biased? Number of hats on the ice? Kind of weak. Not going to lie to you. Kind of weak. There were like six hats on the ice. There's at least, at least 50. Seawolf's do it. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm gonna say. As uh, there you go, Shep checking in at goal. You know it, uh, the score sheet looks tough, but 44 shots for Binghamton. Tough to stop all of them. So for the last nine minutes and 50 seconds, sorry, that's that's wrong. That's the other side. For the last 10 minutes. We're gonna 
We're going to get Shep in goal. Shep, he's the vet, isn't he? He's the veteran. He's the older one. Yeah, I think Blake is. Blake is. Now Kyle Russell, he'll go back around and at this point, Seawolf's playing for pride. Joaquin Nielsen gets it. That one goes to Tyson Lambert over Kyle Russell. And there's that defensive pairing we've seen a lot tonight. Nine minutes, 45 seconds left in the game. Binghamton, I, I wonder, do they slow it down? You know, I mean, they possess the puck majority of the night. You see right here, uh, much more passes backwards. You know, they've been a team to be lateral or forward the whole night. You know, we talked about them going three wide, four wide sometimes as we get an icing call, Omnitech icing call. But, uh, you know, there you see them kind of being patient, waiting to, waiting to get pushed, waiting to get pressured. Oh, that'll take us to immediate timeout. Caught me off guard. Live from Walk On, Seawolves Broadcast Network. What's going on, Mississippi Seawolves fans? It's number 23, Jackson Bond. I'm here with number 10, Philip Wong, and number 17, Kyle Russell. And we're here today at Gulf Coast Golf Carts in Biloxi, Mississippi. Uh, it's just off of exit 50. Come on out. They have new and used golf carts. They do services and repairs for any golf cart brand, so you can bring your own if you need any anything fixed up. They're the people for you. Best prices on the coast, that's a guarantee. So come and see our friends. We appreciate all their support. We want to support them back. So come out and see them. Thanks, guys. 9.26 left as you get a look in at uh, some of the Binghamton fans. I'm sure they're enjoying the night a little bit better than us, a little bit more than us. Although, that, uh, is, that, is that bread pudding? Yes. Okay, well. That it is. <laughs> It's half of what's left. I apologize for the heavy breathing <laughs> now <laughs> for the broadcast. Seawolves with possession. Stoya, the big defender for the Seawolves. We've seen him step in the offensive side, and oh my, Justin Portillo. If he's able to grab that one, he'll have a goal. Binghamton with it. Late line change. Some guys come in late. I played around and pushed around. Seems Binghamton, while they are in the offensive zone, are not as aggressive as they have uh, they have been the rest of this night. 8.35 left. Aslan sends a uh, shot, tries to make something shake. Here's Danny Lissio. Binghamton settling it behind their own net. They'll change the play, move around, pass back to the original. Daniel Stone seems to be kind of the, the Matt Stoya of their team, kind of settling things up and, and starting and kind of running the point guard, if you will. We'll get a whistle. There's a look in on the Black Bear bench. Absolute electricity up in Binghamton. Or tonight. Or tonight. <laughs> yeah, tomorrow night's going to be a different night. Tomorrow night. Yeah, oh yeah, that's it. Tomorrow night's tonight. And uh, Helen throws somebody to the ice. Nothing, nothing happening from it. It was legal. Connor Lynn with it. And maybe it wasn't. We get a whistle. Tripping. And, yep, going to be tripping. I believe it was Helen. Jumping on what you said. That's very similar to what happened with Columbus last week. You know, the first meeting right. between the two was a little on the rough side for the Seawolves, but 
you know, the next night they came out and they, they had a plan. They had right. a plan and they executed and got the job done. And, you know, who knows? Tonight it might have been something, you know, with the trip up there and, that, that, you know, the time change. You know, give them a minute to get used to it. Tomorrow night might be a different story. Absolutely. Jackson Bond, he plays it around. Now Binghamton has it. We'll say the speed of Binghamton has matched up with the Seawolf. Seawolf is usually the faster team on the ice. Binghamton has uh, definitely given them a run for their money tonight. Good steal. And dumped in, we'll get a whistle. And uh, Matt, you made a good point. Uh, some aggression. We get. You made a good point. They're in New York. That's a long trip, right? By bus. By bus. That is a long, long trip. So, I'm just glad the bus made it. <laughs> we've had some problems in the uh, FPHL. We're good. Our bus is good. No, I'm just. I'm just saying. That's a long trip, yeah. man. That's a long trip. We, we hear it. We hear it a lot. Jackson Bond looks like he got tossed. We'll see what the live stats have to say about that. Not sure. It's yeah. Helen gets the penalty, and Bond wasn't involved in that altercation. But ref gave him a good talking to, and then Bond skates off. Seven minutes, 30 seconds left. I'll say this. The uh, Seabull is faithful in walk-ons. Still sticking around. I'm interested to find out what that was about. Yeah, same. Don't worry, we got the best of the biz. Derek Ladner looking it up. Well, Dalton Anderson went in for slashing. Okay. Lucas Helling is, Helen is in there for tripping. Mm -hmm. Binghamton called a timeout. Still waiting to see what Jackson Bond's situation was. Timeout? Yeah, like, uh, like uh, that's what it says. Yeah, it is, it is. I hate to be that guy. It is seven to one. What do you need a timeout for? <laughs> Just saying. Maybe the Sea Wolves can use this timeout a little more. We'll figure it out. Live look in. I don't know if this is a uh, some Cubs dancing around. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> proud of that one. <laughs> <laughs> he did the he did the dad chuckle after that joke. That was a great. He one. got a ten <laughs> minute misconduct for unsportsmanlike conduct. Boo! Oh. What did he say? What did that, he say? That is the thing. I would love to know what he said. Uh, well, he, he he went to pass the puck down and hit one of Black Bears on their snout. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's killing the game. Five on three <laughs> for the Sea Wolves. <laughs> Let's get let's get out of this one and help that penalty kill get back up. Fake shot. He may have may have not have been able to find the blackberries. There you, yeah. there you go. This is not stopping. Let's keep going. You'll play this game. I can get in on this. Deflection. I, I, Good I, job by Connor Lind. I feel like there's a poo a poo joke coming. Oh no. Poo, Winnie, oh, the, Winnie the, poo the poo joke. joke. Instead of money, it'd be honey. Sorry. <laughs> that was a good one. That was good. <laughs> Shot stopped by Shepard. Binghamton cycling the shots. Connor Lynn blocking it, and that hurt. Connor Lynn limping a little bit. Still effort. Shep deflects another one. 6.20 left. Five on three. 25 seconds left on that power play. Binghamton just kind of playing tic-tac-toe there. And tries to go back door, spin around backhand, but. Nice deflection by Philip Wong uh, there to get that out of there. Wong has been all over the ice tonight. There tries to go down. But and that one. They score. Pops across the crease and right over Shepard's stick. And boy, when it rains, it pours. Eight to one. Matt, I hope you're right. I hope tomorrow we get after him. But boy, tonight, not looking great. You see it, quick pass across the crease. 
and leading goal scorer for Binghamton, Kirkby, gets the goal. There Tyson will, Kirkby. There will definitely be conversations at tomorrow's morning skate. Oh, boy. <laughs> Pass back around. Now Stoya has it. He clears it. Now Egbert going to play it on the back end. Eight seconds left. And uh, penalty kill. Yeah, sorry. Okay. <laughs> 528 left in the period. Yeah. <laughs> Black Bears with it along the boards. Shep throws a stick at it. Good job getting it out, and that starts a series. Good pass from Lissio. Good stick from the Black Bears. Wong's not able to get it on. Sorry, Kuznetsov's not able to get it on. Back over. Looks like Shep wanted an icing. It was a feeble attempt. Now 4.45 left. Slow moving game. It was slow when before Binghamton scored that last goal, and ever since then, much, much slower. Kuznetsov over there. Lind, sorry, Russell, trying to get on that one. Back over to Lind. Shepard blocking it, covering it, freeze it. That'll take us to our final media timeout of the game. Seawolves down 8-1. to one. We'll get back when the action starts. Live from Walk-Ons, this is the Seawolves Broadcast Network. Hey, what's going on, Mississippi Seawolves fans? It's number 23, Jackson Bond. I'm here with number 10, Philip Wong, and number 17, Kyle Russell. And we're here today at Gulf Coast Golf Carts in Biloxi, Mississippi. Uh, it's just off of exit 50. Come on out. They have new and used golf carts. They do services and repairs for any golf cart brand, so you can bring your own if you need any, anything fixed up. They're the people for you. Best prices on the coast, that's a guarantee. So come and see our friends. We appreciate all their support. We want to support them back. So come out and see them. Thanks, guys. Face off, win for the Seawolves. Quick shot, quick save from Shepard. 4.15 remaining in the third period. Seawolves trying to find something positive to bring into tomorrow night where they will match up against the same team you see here, the Binghamton Black Bears. Another face off win. Passed on, deflected, stays in play, and just ushered back towards Seawolves' net. Lambert's pass intended for Wong goes wide, and it's Egbert. It's going to be an Omni Tech yeah, icing. Egbert asks for it, and he gets the icing call. We'll go all the way back. Hello from the other side. There you go. I told you. I told you he'd start singing. I'm telling you, when, when we went to a commercial break, Derek stood on top of the table, started singing, and everybody in walk-ons was like along. Started it cheering. Was, it was awesome. It started cheering. It was incredible. I mean, it was, it was incredible. See, <laughs> Black Bears with it in their own offensive zone where they have Frequently visited tonight. Shepard with another freeze. 338 <laughs> remaining. 
while well, Lakota bartender was standing up on the bar, I had to get something from the top shelf. I thought we were at Wild Coyotes yeah, there you go, for a there minute. <laughs> the little girl would sure have something to say. No, no, well, now they're dancing. Tell you what, they're giving uh, they're giving the Seawolves the business. Yeah, I hope they keep that same energy yeah, tomorrow night because yeah, we're coming. Yeah, Deion Sanders, <laughs> yeah, take that. <laughs> we're coming. Tomorrow shot, night's going to be a different game. Shot goes wide. No, Aslan. Trying his best to keep Kirkby at bay, and Kirkby's going to go for a backhand shot. Ends up losing possession, and Connor Lind will have it. He'll settle it behind the net for a short moment. Pass back to him, and he'll get it started as well. Crossover. Throws the body. Connor Lind didn't avoid that one. He just he, he was like, all right, let's go. Mm -hmm. Lind with it, passes it back over. Bar. A shot. Looked a little scary. I think the belly flop was a little unnecessary from Egbert, but a save nonetheless for the Black Bears. There you see it. Like I said, belly flop was a little unnecessary. Shot on that was David Aslan, one of the newer faces. I'm not going to say new, newer faces to the Seawolves roster. Where was he at before? Baton Rouge. That's right. Thought I'd recognize the name. Montanac, unable to grab it. And, and they score again. Shepard gets uh, out of position, and Kirkby backdoors it. Nine to one. Black Bears not slowing down. Tough one. Tough one here at Walk-Ons. But nonetheless, we still have some hockey to be played. I believe we're getting close to that two-minute two minute left time period. Looked like there was being hats thrown for him as well. Oh, man. Well, if there were only six hats thrown the last time, I imagine probably like two, if that. Three. Three? Yeah. I feel like if you, you don't throw your hat on the first hat trick and then another one happens in the same game. Actually, it was, you, it was two hats and a beanie. Oh, that's fair for the assist. Yeah. <laughs> There's a rubber chicken. He, yeah, he got a rubber chicken yeah. out of it. How about that? Well, oh, there he goes. There he goes. He started to get on the table. <laughs> if these computers wouldn't be on air. <laughs> Philip Wong gets the faceoff win. Nielsen tries to make a move and make something quick, but uh, taken away, and then the Seawolves are able to grab it for themselves. Derek, you said it earlier, it seems like they're just waiting. Yeah. And then once the Seawolves get to center ice, it's attack. It's like a cover three defense almost. Do not approach the bear. <laughs> <laughs> Don't poke the bear. Do not approach him. <laughs> Uh-oh. Some trouble in the face off. Psych. I'm back. We've had a couple of uh, referee stare downs on face-offs, but nobody's been kicked out tonight. Nielsen with the effort. Got to love, love to see that. Stoya sends it on. Helen takes a, or sorry, Wong takes a shot. And in front of the goaltender and back of the net, a one, no, okay, sorry. Whew, I got worried. I got worried right there. Go ahead, go ahead. It sure looked that it, way. Okay, all right, I thought you were going to say it did. I was like, dude, that was, that was tough. So, all good, no goal. Seawolves on the offensive end. Wong tries to make something go. Shot deflected, and that one goes behind the net. Kyle Russell with it. Russell sends it back. Minute 30 left. Nielsen and Wong still pressuring. Helen's back there on the back skate. They're going to skate towards him. Let's see what he does. Helen throws a stick out. Or stick out. Binghamton gets a shot. Shepard gets a save. Now back around and played. Seawolves just trying to make something shake right here. And with one minute and six seconds left, we get possibly our last. Omni Tech Ice. There it is. There it is. Da -da -da. 
I don't know, man, but am I the only one that just got cross-eyed when they did that split screen with the replay? Yeah, yeah that was like, tough. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> that was tough. I mean, we've seen it once. We don't need to yeah, see it again. Yeah. Just stop. We're, we're good. I'm fine. I'm good without the, re <laughs> the replay on that. Now, if it was our goal, just yeah, keep replaying Yeah, just keep going. It, right? I, I, I do understand the bias. I get it. Fletcher and Wong. Fletcher wins it, I think. Nope. That one goes to the Seawolves. A major league pop fly. <laughs> We've seen a lot of those. This we day. have. It's, we it's have. Crazy. From both sides. Now, bash into the boards. Played off the boards. And here we go. Russell turns away the Binghamton Black Bear. He'll send one on. Good stop. Connor Lind has it. He'll go over to Portillo. Portillo will lose it. And he'll go all the way back. Drop pass. Quick change of direction. Another drop pass off the skate of Kyle Russell, or sorry, Tyson Lambert. No, Kyle Russell. And frozen by Shepard. Here we go. 14 minutes, or 14 seconds left. And wants to talk some trash. Lucas Helland pointing at the scoreboard, which is the best and worst trash talk, whether uh, depending on what side you're on. Here's the thing. Tomorrow, you're going to have to skate with Lucas Helland, and at, yeah. one point the, at some point in the game, it's going to be 0-0. Zero, zero. And uh, Lucas Helland usually gets what he wants when it comes to those types of things. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that. Uh, <laughs> Shout out, shout out to the mayor. And mayor Popo <laughs> coming back over here trying to give us a little motivation with nine seconds left. <laughs> Seven seconds, five, four, three, two, one, and that's it. That will be the game. This one. Kind of confused on what the cheering's coming yeah, from. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I think maybe the. Maybe I think the, they were the just. Fisticuff. No, yeah, they were. They were. He saw. He saw Spit a it out. Let's a, go. Hey, shut your hole. <laughs> <laughs> Lucas Helen was making a gesture. Yeah, that, it is what it is. All right, we ain't gonna. We're not gonna take a break. We're just gonna. We're gonna rip the bandaid off. Get over this one. Deal. Yep. Tomorrow night. Tomorrow, tomorrow night. night. Live at 6 p.m. We're gonna be at Soli. Y'all come out and join us. It's always a good time. You mm -hmm. can you can catch Wes dancing on the table and doing all kinds well, of. Derek's gonna sing at least three times. <laughs> you know. So yeah, it's, it's always a fun time and. Uh, Hopefully our guys come out with a little bit better. A little more juice. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Well, there you go. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. You. Some t hey, all they got in Binghamton's water it means you got to bring your own juice sometimes. All right. Anything else? That's it. Shout out Justin Barr. He got the goal really early in the game. And tons of faceoff wins. And we, yes. Well, other than that, not much to uh, talk about in the Seawolf's end. But like we said, we have game tomorrow. And then, if I'm not mistaken, three more games in the regular season after that. Four. Four games after well, tonight? No, four home games. Four home games. Well, we got, yeah, it's more I than I don't that. know. No, it, it's it more is than that. It was, yeah. It's less than 12 because it was 12 like two weeks ago. But the uh, Sea Wolves have an opportunity to clinch here. We'll see if they can get it done. And uh, it's, it's important. There are only so many points behind Port Huron. That's what I'm saying. We need some help from uh, whoever's playing Port Huron, and we really need to put, put pucks in the net and Absolutely. Start, start getting it done. Absolutely. So that does it. Uh, shout out to the Seawolves faithful making a uh, walk-ons, the Sullys, anywhere we go, a great environment. As always, Seawolves down 9-1 to one tonight, but some good things coming. Live from walk-ons for the last time, Derek Gladner, Matt Horde. I'm Wes Barnett. Seawolves broadcast.